If we take a look at velocity now, that implies the rate of change. How quickly is a PSA changing over a predefined period of time? Now, strictly speaking, we should have three values of PSA over a 12-month period to get an accurate velocity. We are more comfortable with a velocity of 0.3 to 0.35 nanograms per mil over a year's period, and that is more in keeping with a benign production of PSA. We become more suspicious that a cancerous process is uh, at play if that rate of change is around 0.65 to 0.7 nanograms per mil. So by combining these various aspects of PSA, absolute value, correlation to age-specific threshold, relationship to the median value uh, in a particular decade, free to total ratio, and also velocity, we can improve the utility of this test.